Hello and welcome to Secure Code Warrior. In this module, we'll be looking at server-side request forgery. We'll go through some causes and preventions of vulnerabilities in this category. Firstly, what do we mean by server-side request forgery or SSRF? This is a vulnerability in which the server can be made to perform a request on the hacker's behalf. Using server-side request forgeries, a hacker could scan for open ports, retrieve files, or access internal services. Server-side request forgery vulnerabilities usually occur when an application is not restricting the location and type of resources it can access. To understand server-side request forgery attacks, let's look at an example. The server of a digital advertising firm allows users to view high-resolution samples of their work through a web interface. A hacker notices that the file paths appear to be on a separate server. Guessing that the advertising firm is using cloud services to deal with their large file sizes, the hacker tries requesting the instance's metadata and user data. These normally inaccessible URLs provide the attacker with sensitive data such as access tokens, public keys, structural information and user data. The hacker is not necessarily limited to just HTTP requests either. Depending on the server, its configuration and location, the hacker could enumerate open ports to discover services on the local host address, use file or SMB to request files from the internal file directories, list and download files from internal FTP servers, perform LDAP queries from within a network's DMZ, and much more. To avoid server-side request forgery attacks, it's recommended to restrict requests made by the server to whitelisted locations whenever possible, verify that the requested file type matches that which is expected, display a generic error in the event of failure, and restrict requests to approved URL schemas. Congratulations, you have now completed this module.